Welcome to Yumitsat. I am Jose Prieto and this is my office after it was put upside down by the media colleagues. We are going to talk about uh, five short cases on smoke and fire detection with the help of satellite imagery. So first of all we'll move from smoke to fires and the first case is on screen and you see an image of South America. This is GOES courtesy, GOES 16, so no courtesy. It shows a lot of features but basically a part of it is covered by smoke. So basically it's the central part, this white color which is in the middle and looks like many other things. It could be uh, fog, maybe it could be snow, it doesn't fit with the tropics, but uh, uh, who knows with global change. Anyway, the objective is to identify the areas which are covered by smoke and it helps us to have a special RGB, which is the so-called true color. It's not in European satellites yet, but it will be in the next generation. Here is a second case, it's an animation by Mediasat in South America and smoke moves but uh, it moves slower than cloud usually. So it's uh, in blue and cyan tones so that means we can identify a similar distribution of smoke as we saw in the first case but now in, in these cyan cases. Another feature you observe in this animation covering five days and five nights it's uh, the fact that, that you see the smoke better at some times in the day, actually close to the sunset. This is a result of better reflectivity in special illumination conditions provided by, by nature close to the sunset. So you can see that the same amount of smoke is there for the whole time, but we can see that better in blue or cyan uh, during the afternoon. Actually, you can identify where the higher concentration of smoke is uh, through the cyan patches. So this, in this case, the areas when it shows up at sunset with cyan indicate uh, higher particles, which is typically an indication of the origin of those uh, fires. In this case, we don't see the fire, but we see the smoke caused by the fire, and we can trace it back to the origin. Actually, the, the fact that the farmers in Bolivia and Brazil are clearing ground for getting pastures or free, free areas. In this third case I will introduce an animation based on Mediasat, the natural colors composite, and it reflects the devastating fires we had in Portugal mid-June this year. You see the smoke going roughly in the direction uh, northwest, but in addition you see cloud forming probably uh, on top of, of this smoke. On the other hand, you have the red and yellow spots which indicate something which is very hot in these pixels, the actual fires, the fire blazes. And if you have a good imagination, you can see these fire blazes advance in the opposite direction of the smoke, namely towards the southeast. So the hot spots coming from the channel at 4 microns are a good indication how the fires are moving, in which direction, namely opposite to the smoke. Last case, focusing on fires only, we disregard the smokes now, and we use just information from the infrared channels at 11 microns and at 4 microns. RGB is a powerful concept, so you can just put information from as many sources as you wish in an image, a color image. In this case, we use those two channels to identify the hot spots, the areas where fire blazes are taking place. In this case, you see there's a contamination, possible contamination by cloud, which appears as red. Of course, cloud is not red, but it's a warning there might be some fires hidden by this cloud passing over the area of Portugal and Spain. This is an experimental product and is not yet available but I hope you can see that soon in our pages. So time to recap. We can see through satellite imagery both smoke and fires at different sources. Basically smoke is seen with solar channels and fires, fire blazes, are identified and spotted through the infrared channels. We have seen cases of smoke, how to see the areas covered by smoke, the, the hues presented by smoke, basically white, 
and blue and cyan. And finally, we have moved slowly towards the identification of hotspots through mainly the channel at 4 microns in the infrared of many satellite sensors. So, hope uh, you found it useful and looking forward to your ideas through our page. Thank you.